Hey everybody, Jeff Schneider here. Okay, here's the note scramble game. It comes from the uh, word scramble game. So if we take a word like stop, you guys know this game. If you take a word like stop, you can rearrange the letters, you can do pots, just coming up with new words. So what's another one? Spot is another one. And uh, did I miss any? Tops is another one there. So several different words you can come up with with just those four letters. Let's do the same thing now with music. So we'll take a basic chord and then we'll do it with a more advanced chord. The whole point of this is to emphasize how you can create lots of different voicings. That's how you arrange the notes in a chord to come up with different sounds. So same note, different or same notes, different sound. Let's take a C major chord, C, E, G. This is a pretty vanilla sounding chord. It's probably one of the first chords you ever learned how to play on the piano, but it sounds really basic. Not that cool. Now, if you want to make this a lot more hip and interesting, well, you can start to do inversions where you play different positions. So all I'm doing here is I'm doing E, uh, G, and then C. So this is first inversion. Some of you guys have heard, of, heard about this before, but I'm going to do a more advanced uh, version of this in just a second. The whole point here, again, is just to rearrange the notes to create more interesting sounds. Um, what else can we do? We can open the voicing up. So instead of playing in closed position, we can do like a, a, a big spread here, and that sounds like this. And then we can do the same thing with the open position and do inversions with uh, with open voicing. So let's, uh, I love this one here. Let's do an E and then a C and then a G. Really big spread here, something like this. Sounds a lot better than our vanilla sounding C major triad in root position. It's the same three notes that I started with, just a lot more interesting, so much fresher. The whole point here is that voicings matter. So let's now play the note scramble game with a more complex chord. Let's do C major nine, C major nine. So in a basic root position, this would be like a C and an E and a G and a B and a D. That's the one, the three, the five, the seven, and the nine. Now that sounds pretty good, but it could sound more interesting because all we have here are stacked thirds and it sounds nice because you have those extensions in there like the nine and the seven, but we can do better. We can do more. Let's rearrange some notes here. Let's scramble the chord. We're gonna take, uh, let's do this. We'll do E on the bottom and then a B above that and then a C above that and a D above that and a G above that. So it's the same notes, right? We could connect them. We could do that game where you like match the stuff up that you, you know this game that the kids play? The really young kids is in my four-year-old. Anyway, let's hear how this sounds. Really nice. Here's the original, not bad, really cool. If I, put a, if I put a C on the bottom, a really great sound. I love that sound. You get the cluster in there, you get some spread intervals on top. It's really, really cool. Uh, you know, even just taking out that D, if we wanted to simplify this further, we could take the D out and just play a, a C major seven voicing and get this sound right here. This is great. You move this around to other keys and you get some really beautiful sounds. If you want to play jazzier sounding chord progressions, you don't actually need to know all the different two five ones and the tritone substitution and, and the backdoor two five ones. You know, the, all that kind of stuff is, is good to know, but you can get a really great sound just by learning good voicings. So if you take that voicing we just did, this one right here and you move it around, randomly, it still sounds really, really nice. This is really the takeaway. Voicings matter more than chord progressions because you can have a great chord progression with all the, the, the right chords and the right harm, harmonic function and, ev and everything. But if the voicings suck, then it's not going to sound good. And you can take a really basic, uh, even random chord progression that doesn't make any sense and play it with good quality voicings and have it sound amazing. Just like that basic C major chord, transforming that into something like this. It just, it elevates it to a whole new level.
So if you want to learn how to play better chords on the piano for jazz or R&B or neo soul or gospel, check out Sick Chords Volume 1 and, and get the bonus bundle now because it really has so much extra stuff in there that's going to make it easier for you to learn these chords. This is the last day you can get it. It expires today. So if you want to grab it, it's a great price. You get a lot of bonuses and it's really going to transform the way you play music, especially for jazz, R&B, neo soul and gospel. So I'll leave it there. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.